today that you were going to unveto your veto of uh, regional superintendent, so that you might unveto your uh, regional superintendent veto. Any any thoughts on that? Is that the case, or what are you thinking on that? Uh, I don't think that's. We're trying to work it out. You know, I do think that that uh, particular office ought to be paid for from local funds, and uh, you know, we have some ideas there. Uh, I hope we can at least have something that. Uh, tides us over until the General Assembly meets. Governor, when are you going to put together what you want out of the gambling package to try to get the... Well, I have more people uh, I want to visit with. Uh, definitely, I want to speak to some of the critics of the bill. They are on tap to uh, come forward this week. But we've also some of the prominent supporters. I want to sit down with Lou Lang, who's a very good friend of mine, and he was the sponsor of the bill in the House, and I want to hear from him. Uh, I visit with him earlier in the summer, and I think here by the end of summer we'll have some basic principles uh, that we have to have. As I said yesterday, we're not going to have uh, any kind of expansion in gambling in Illinois, particularly in Chicago, without very strong, tight, ethical standards uh, that protect integrity and protect the uh, people. Our and that's uh, something I think the public wants all the time. Are slot machines at racetracks a non-starter for you? Well, we'll take a look at it. We're looking at everything, and uh, I don't think we can have uh, what's called cannibalization of gaming in Illinois, where there's so many different places there's gambling that it uh, ends up uh, hurting the overall product. So uh, I think we have to do this in a prudent way. That doesn't sound like you're very supportive. Well, there's a lot of things that you have to look at in that bill. I think I said yesterday, I'll say today, and I'll say tomorrow that integrity comes first. We're not going to have uh, any kind of expansion of gambling in Illinois without strong, tough, ethical standards and oversight by the gaming board. I want to give you three examples. Uh, Judge Aaron Jaffe, who is an excellent uh, chairman of this board, uh, their board had to ferret out bad things in three different times uh, that would have really hurt Illinois, corrupted gambling, and uh, we can't afford that. We, our state is uh, a state we want to make sure is everything's done right all the time. You previously talked about how it would perhaps ruin the family atmosphere if Springfield had harness racing and slots. Or, would, would you still feel that way? I mean, there's harness racing today, for instance, at the state fair. There are tons of kids. Yeah, harness racing has been at the fair for a long time, but when you put in slot machines, that's a wholly different situation. I was never excited about that. So you think that you would like to see that go from the mill and the slot machines at the state fair? Are we on the state fair? Yeah, I don't really, I don't know what what we're getting out of that. We've had a huge increase in our affair, attendance at the fair this year, 35% increase. Uh, we've got Lady Annabellum coming on Sunday, wow. Brian. Yeah, you can't well, go wrong with that. Well, and one afford. of Brian's favorites, MC Hammer, is on Saturday oh, night. Yeah, you know, sure. yeah. trip down go. memory lane for you all. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I think that's enough. Who needs uh, slot machines when you have MC Hammer and Lady a, Lady a huh? Are it's they about. always this dang tough? I mean, this, this is this is a gaggle. Governor, is that it for slots at the, at the state fair? You think? Uh, you know, I'm not excited about it. I don't think anybody really is. Uh, what are we getting out of that? I I think that our state fair that's been around since 1853 is a good state fair. It's the best in the whole country, and uh, people want to come to it and bring their family. But the, Why is it the okay horsemen to... will be out there today, and they say it's vital to the industry that they have slots at tracks, that they well, have this racetrack. Yeah, Title their opinion. I don't know if everybody agrees with that. So Why is it okay to expand gambling in Chicago, but you seem to be hesitant about expanding it elsewhere downstate? Talk about that a little bit. Well, I think we need to have uh, something that's properly regulated and framed. Uh, I don't think there should be any casino anywhere unless it's properly regulated. And you have strong, tough oversight. Uh, Chicago is the biggest city in the Midwest by far, and if it's done right, you could have a uh, casino, in my opinion, but it's got to be done right. But yeah, people downstate think you're biased down. against them because you're not interested in gambling downstate, but you said it's okay in Chicago well, to have a casino. That isn't really true at all. I visited with the folks from Danville and Rockford. Uh, we had very good visits. Uh, you know, I'm I'm interested in talking to everybody. Are they changing your mind? Because initially you said the bill was excessive and top-heavy. Now you're talking more about proper regulation. So you're more open to more gambling if it's regulated properly for places yeah, well, like Danville and Rockford? Right now, there's no question there's a top-heavy bill. I think that's for sure. I, I already said that. I'm also saying, as a, we've gone through the summer, how, uh, in my opinion, how lax and uh, 
lenient uh, the regulation is, uh, which I don't think is acceptable to me or anybody else. You sound prepared, though, to, to reach a conclusion, to reach a deal with uh, the negotiators. To the deal, the word deal is the wrong word. Uh, my job is to protect the public interest and the common good, and I'm going to always do that uh, no matter what. I'm not going to listen to any politician or any uh, casino interest uh, uh, that, that puts uh, the their interests before the people. The people of Illinois come first. And Governor, I don't think this particular bill uh, uh, should uh, go without uh, complete uh, review and uh, great scrutiny, and that's what I'm doing.